Hi there. So today we're going to take the Thunderbird out of the Carcoon bubble. So there it is. Um, it's been in there since about uh, September last year. It's now uh, end of February. So somebody did ask about uh, problems with condensation. Um, yeah, I mean, if it's like a really damp day, you know, where it's all dripping off the trees and whatnot, and you open that garage door, you're going to get an influx of really cold, damp air. And what I've noticed is that you do get condensation a little bit on the outside because you know it's uh, cold air hitting something a little bit warmer um, but the thing about these carcoons is you can actually when you if you wash your bike you can actually um, put the bike in damp and if you just unzip this flap here the fan speeds up a wee bit and that actually dries your bike because of the airflow from the fan at this end. So there's the filter and behind that is the fan that's sucking in the air. But because you've got a movement of air, um, you, you'll find that as it the temperature stabilises, the condensation will disappear. So the main thing with condensation on bikes that are standing is if that condensation stays for any length of time and seeps in, then yeah, you're going to have that corrosion issue. Uh, but I, I don't believe it's much of a problem. Anyway, let's get the thing out and see. So I can't actually get to the switch that's controlling the fan so I'm just going to turn it off at the wall because it, yeah there was a bit of a problem it was up on the wall and um, yeah I freaked around in here at some point and it fell down and I thought oh, bugger it I'll just leave it there so I'll turn it off at the wall and as you can hear it's still actually going which is a bit of a pain because I need it to be stopped uh, but I'll I'll just unzip it anyway but what's happening now is it's actually taking power for the fan from the bike's uh, battery. So that sort of proves that the, the battery's good. Okay, so let's start unzipping it. Okay, so I've got to remember where the zip, the zip is. Yeah, I know it's over there. Okay, so I think the zip starts here. It's a bit awkward this setup because it's right up against the wall. It's a bit um, cramped for space. I guess I could unplug that and that will stop the fan. And as you can see, it rapidly deflates. And even today, as you can see, it's a sunny day but it's still quite cool. It's about 10 degrees or something and there is a bit of condensation happening but like I say it will, it will disappear this things equalize okay okay let's get it out and see Heavier than I thought. Okay, so we've got the the bike out of the bubble. We'll fold that up later. But let's see how it survived in the bubble. How did it come out? Well, let's have a look. 
I mean, I guess the thing to remember is that these bikes in the bubble will only ever come out as good as what you put them in. Um, but looking closely at this, it's like I say, it's as clean as when I put it in. There might be a little bit of dust there, but certainly no more dust than you get just sitting around in the good weather. Um, there doesn't seem to be any corrosion anywhere. Okay, so uh, just to finish up, yeah, everything's fine. Um, runs like a dream. But as for the condition of the bike, well, I think you can see that it's, you know, there's no problem. I mean, I've stored bikes outside in the winter under a cover um, and sprayed them with WD-40 and grease and all sorts of things to stop the rust and the corrosion. Uh, but this is a much better solution. Um, you, you need to... Well, this is an indoor one, so obviously you need to keep it in a garage. But there are outdoor models. I can't speak for those, how good they are. Um, all I was looking for was a solution to storing bikes in this country when you can't ride them for so much of the time. And uh, I think I found it. Okay, hope you found this useful and see you next time.